The next few days, if you don't love baseball enough to sit out in the heat, maybe not your time to go to a Dodgers game because it's going to be really hot. Uh, we did have a couple showers that moved through northwestern Oklahoma and oh, the nice. Panhandle uh, earlier this morning. So kind of when most people were asleep, it didn't interfere with anyone's 4th of July plans. But we got about two thirds of an inch just northeast of Elk City and then a, an inch just to the west of Visay and an inch north of Cherokee and another inch just to the east of Kiowa. And all these are radar estimates, so you may have gotten just a little bit less than that. But no more rain really in the forecast for today. A lot of sunshine for everyone as an area of high pressure sets itself up. And that just means that heat is on the way for everyone in Oklahoma. Today's high is 99 degrees, tomorrow 100. And our last triple digit day was in 2020, August of 2020. So we haven't officially recorded one, a triple digit day yet in Oklahoma City at the airport this year, but many places through the metro have already recorded their first triple digit day as far as the heat goes. And dangerous heat means heat indices up to 110 degrees possible. We are under a heat advisory for the whole eastern side of the state and then from Oklahoma County up through Logan County, Garfield and Grant and uh, all the way up towards Alva as well. That means just stay hydrated, take breaks from the heat, check on the elderly, those without AC. And really, it just means that your body can't cool down on its own, so you really do have to help it out as much as possible. Stay in the shade if you do have to be outdoors and wear light-colored clothing as well. And of course, we always say don't leave kids or pets in the car because they get very hot in this type of heat. And the heat is here to stay. There is our heat dome, the area of high pressure that is just going to continue to stay with us. Here we are on Thursday. A couple different areas of low pressure and different systems move to our north and right up along on top of that heat dome but really not much in the way of relief one area of low pressure does look to swing a little bit of a cold front through overnight tuesday into wednesday bringing us a couple showers but as far as cooler temperatures go, really not going to do a whole lot. Drops us into the upper 90s from the triple digits, which is, I guess, a little bit of relief, but I don't think we'll be able to feel a whole lot of difference. This is your current picture from Tower Cam. Just a few clouds, part of our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. 93 degrees as you're heading outside, but it is feeling like the middle to upper 90s most places already, and already feeling like the triple digits for many people as well. These are your current temperatures. Men most people actually in the 90s, not a single 80 degree reading anymore. Upper 90s now in Beaver County, 99, knocking on that triple digit mark. And we are headed up right to that 99 degree mark as well. Gusty winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour in some spots. The most recent gust in Oklahoma City, 28 miles per hour so far, but really everyone kind of just hanging out in the 25 to 35 mile per hour range. And all of that southerly wind coming from the southwest, it brings up moisture, it brings up heat. 99 is our high temperature with dew points in the upper 60s, lower 70s. Of course, feeling like the lower triple digits, 105 to 110 is what is expected for all of those counties that I showed you under the heat advisory. 100 for Clinton, 101 for Hobart and Lawton, and 102 for Alva and Enid. Even the people who are not under a heat advisory, they're still going to be very hot today. Overnight, my Mild, muggy, upper 70s and lower 80s for some. Some people not even getting out of the 80s overnight. Chance of a passing shower in the panhandle for Guyman, but I think your better chance for rain is going to be on Wednesday evening. Tomorrow afternoon, more triple digits. I think tomorrow's the official day that we do hit 100 degrees in Oklahoma City and a lot, a lot of uh, 100s through the state tomorrow and through the entire nine day. And the only people who have a chance for rain is going to be the panhandle for chances both Wednesday and on Thursday. Your nine day forecast showing lots of triple digit days. We do have that cold front swing through towards the end of the nine day, but it doesn't cool us off a whole lot.